hello guys so today we will discussing about uh, next part of the urinary system that is your ureter and the urinary bladder so uh, basically we have uh, two urinary uh, ureter okay one and two there are two ureter and each ureter is basically an extension of uh, the pelvis of the kidney so this is the pelvis so it, it uh, this ureter is basically the uh, extension of the pelvis of the kidney okay so if you see the length of the ureter from uh, here to here okay this length will be approximately 25 to 30 centimeters 25 to 30 centimeters okay or you can tell 10 to 12 inch and this uh, ureter will connect the urinary bladder this ureter will connect this urinary bladder this is the urinary bladder to the kidney okay and this ureter will generally enters to the urinary bladder from the posterior side means from the back side not from the front side okay from the posterior side it will enter the urinary bladder now the uh, now the principal function of ureter is to transport the urine from the renal pelvis into the urinary bladder okay it takes the urine okay it takes the urine okay it takes the urine from the renal pelvis okay to the urinary bladder okay so uh, the urine is generally carried through uh, ureter primarily by paras peristalstic contractions okay just like in the esophagus we have peristalstic movement here also we have something called peristalstic contraction peristalstic contraction okay peristalstic contraction of uh, ureter smooth muscle plus your gravity and plus hydrostatic pressure hydrostatic pressure combinedly uh, help this urine to to come from from the uh, to come from the pelvis to the urinary bladder okay now let's move on to the uh, if we do a cross section okay suppose if we do a cross section of the ureter so let's see what are the different layers in the ureter so if if we take a cross section of this ureter we generally find three layers of uh, three layers we generally find three layers the inner one being the mucosa okay this is the mucosa so this is the lumen so inner one being the mucosa then uh, followed by your lamina propria and then followed by muscularis okay and above the muscularis there is a superficial coating of the ureter known as adventitia okay known as adventitia so in this adventitia is the superficial coating of the ureter okay now let's see uh, about a little bit detail about the layers so this mucosa is generally made up of transitional epithelium okay it is generally made up of your transitional epithelium this uh, mucosa is generally made up of transitional epithelium this transitional epithelium can change their shape okay this is a specialty of this transitional epithelium it can change their shape and it can change their size okay shape and size so uh, next comes to the lamina propria so uh, this uh, lamina propria is generally made up of areolar connective tissue areolar connective tissue and plus some amount of your uh, uh, collagen plus your elastic fiber and lymphatic tissues plus your elastic fibers and lymphatic tissues this is how this lamina propria is made up of 
and uh, the next one is your uh, muscularis layer okay so this muscularis layer has uh, generally uh, an inner uh, longitudinal and uh, outer circular muscle fiber it has inner uh, longitudinal longitudinal inner and the outer your circular muscle fibers okay so this is just opposite to the git where you can find the circular uh, circular muscle uh, out inner part and the longitudinal muscle in the outer part in the git okay this is just opposite to the git and the final one is the outer covering superficial covering that is adventitia and it is also made up of areolar connective tissue made up of uh, this is areolar connective tissues and uh, in this adventitia liver you can find the blood vessels here out uh, these are the blood vessels which supply blood to the uh, ureter and uh, the goblet cell present inside the mucosa will produce mucus which will uh, provide safety to the ureter from the urinary concentrations and uh, this adventitia has uh, it is a superficial layer already i have told you and uh, it will also protect the ureter from the uh, outer side this adventitia which is made up of uh, areolar connective tissue and the uh, areolar connective tissue of the uh, lamina propria will bind this uh, mucosa this is transitional epithelial mucosa to the muscularis layer of the ureter so uh, with this we have finished the uh, ureter part of the uh, urinary system and let's quickly move on to the urinary bladder so this uh, urinary bladder is generally a hollow muscular organ so it is a generally a hollow muscular organ it's generally a hollow muscular organ and it is uh, located in the uh, pelvic cavity it is located in the pelvic cavity and it is uh, located posterior to the pubic bone okay it is located posterior to the pubic bone and uh, when it is empty it resembles like a deflated balloon and uh, uh, it becomes like a spherical to pear shape when it fills with the urine okay so generally it will uh, when it is empty it will look like a deflated balloon okay and when the urine is filled it will be like spherical to pear shape when the urine is filled in the urinary bladder so now uh, here i am showing the internal structure of the urinary bladder so you can see the ureter opening here there are two ureter opening and this point is known as the opening of ureter and if we make a triangle So this triangle, this triangle, if we make a triangle which connects the two openings, okay, the two openings of the ureter and the opening of the urethra. So if we connect this triangle, so this is known as your trigon, okay. This is known as your trigon and maximum bladder infection will be in the trigon region, okay. So maximum, this point if you should remember, uh, generally the bladder infection tend to develop in the trigon region of the bladder okay 
so uh, this is the trigon region and uh, following that you can see a, a internal spinster okay internal spinster so this uh, uh, internal spinster is nothing but this at the junction of this urinary bladder and the urethra so this is the junction this is the junction of the uh, urinary bladder and the urethra uh, this is smooth muscle of the bladder these are all the smooth muscle these are the smooth muscle this is smooth muscle of the bladder wall forms the internal spinster okay so what is that internal spinster so this is the junction of this urinary bladder this is the junction okay and the urethra okay this is junction and the urethra this is the smooth muscle so this smooth muscle of the bladder wall will form the internal spinster muscle okay and this is in this is under the involuntary control this internal spinster muscle is is under the involuntary control okay. and then we have an external spinster muscle and this external spinster muscle is made up of skeletal muscle so this is made up of skeletal muscle and this uh, since it is made up of skeletal muscle it is voluntary in nature so it is under voluntary control voluntary control now if we take a cross section okay if we take a cross section of the urinary bladder then we find similar three layer structure like the ureter with some small differences okay so already we know the inner layer is your mucosa and uh, we have already discussed this uh, mucosa is made up of uh, transitional epithelium transitional epithelium just like ureter and then comes the next layer is lamina propria and it is uh, made up of your areolar connective tissue Areolar connective tissue basically with some amount of your collagen, elastic fiber, and lymphatic tissue. Okay, and the third layer, outer layer, is your muscularis layer. Okay, so in the ureter, you have found you, you have seen two layers of the uh, two layers of muscular uh, muscularis layer, but here we found the three layers of uh, muscular layer. And inner is your longitudinal, longitudinal in nature. Okay, longitudinal. It is the inner part, and the middle one is your circular, circular muscle, middle, and the outer, outer one is your longitudinal again, longitudinal outer. Okay, and this all commonly this whole as a Combinedly, is known as detrusor muscle. Detrusor muscle. So, detrusor muscle is made up of three smooth muscle layers. That is longitudinal, circular, and then longitudinal. Okay. So, outer and inner is comprised of longitudinal, and the middle one is comprised of your circular. And the uh, last layer, the outer covering, is known as your uh, adventitia. And it is also made up of areolar connective tissue. Areolar connective tissue. This is the outer covering. So uh, with this, we have completed uh, ureter and urinary bladder anatomy. So in next class we will uh, we will be watching we will be uh, reading about the physiology of urine formation okay physiology of urine formation where this uh, anatomy of uh, urinary bladder is very important so we have finished today ureter and urinary bladder anatomy so uh, if you like the video please uh, press the like button and subscribe my channel and uh, Thanks for listening to my lecture patiently. Thank you very much.